In today's video, we'll create Telegram voice assistant with OpenAI brain. This is how the resulting workflow looks like. You send a voice or text message in Telegram and it then understands which type of message has been sent and if needed, converts the voice message into text. Send it all to OpenAI, gets the answer back and sends it to you in the chat, either in the text form or in the form of a voice message. As you can see, it is an AI chat with voice support similar to what you may have in ChatGPT application, but which you can use in the Telegram group. The difference is that you can easily add other people to this Telegram group so that they can all see the history of the communication with chat assistant in this group. While creating the workflow, we'll be using the following NA10 nodes. Telegram node, edit fields, if and switch nodes. We'll also use two nodes from OpenAI uh, for transcribe, recording and generating audio and an AI agent, which will use OpenAI brain and the connected simple memory. In relation to the Telegram triggers and actions, uh, we will be using the following ones while implementing this workflow. On message trigger and send an audio file, send a chat action and send a text message actions. And this is how the resulting workflow looks like. Uh, as you can see, there are, let's say, two lines here, lines of uh, logic. First one is on top, it's a voice flow. The second one is a text flow. How it works? When we're receiving a message from in the Telegram group, when I send something, the workflow decides whether it's a voice message or it's a text message. If it is a text message, it follows the text road. The text road uh, will basically send the data to OpenAI, gets an answer uh, to the question we are asking, and then it will respond with a Telegram message here in the text form. In the voice flow, uh, the, the workflow is a bit different. When we're receiving the voice message, uh, the workflow in NN10 understands that it's a voice message. Uh, it first transcribes it into text. There is a need to convert this information into text. Then it sends this text to uh, AI agent, which sends it to OpenAI, receives the answer also in the text form. And then it converts this text into audio and sends audio back to Telegram. In order to see uh, how uh, the workflow functions, let's uh, let's try to let's make two tests. One will send a text message, and another one will send a voice message. And we'll see first how the text flow works. It's quite it's more sim it's simpler, and then uh, we'll see how the voice flow works uh, with a voice message. So let's go back to Telegram. Before we go back to Telegram, we, by the way, we should press uh, test workflow button. Uh, you can see here that. Uh, the telegram, uh, the NATM is waiting for you to create an event in Telegram and uh, we'll send a message. Hi there. So you can see that we received an answer and the answer is in a text form. So let's go back. You can see that uh, the workflow has been successfully executed and uh, this you can see by these green check marks on these nodes. As you can see, the nodes in the text flow has been executed and uh, the nodes in the voice flow has not been executed because it's text. So let's see how it's working. First of all, um, everything starts from the first trigger node. It's, uh, it will react on any message uh, sent uh, to Telegram in any form. So let's come here. What we can see, and by the way, let's, uh, let's pin this data. We can see here that the message which we received uh, is, has the following shape and the following details. If we look at it in the JSON format, uh, it has the data about from whom it has been received, the data about chat from which it's coming. It has, for example, the chat ID number here, the title, my voice assistant, and it has the text, the thing which is most interesting for us. Hi there. So on the next uh, stage, there is an if node which decides if it, it is a text or not. The way uh, for me to decide whether uh, it was a text or not is, in, is the following. If it is a voice message, uh, the incoming data, so the data in the get telegram message node, will have uh, a voice uh, a voice, um, voice property. And if it's just a text message, it does not have a voice property. If you can see, so you can see here that uh, that was has, what has been received from the previous node. It has text, it has chat, it has from, but it doesn't have message.voice. So what I'm doing here, I'm routing depending on the answer to this question. So if there is message.voice, it will go to this true branch on top. If it's not, uh, if it doesn't have it, then it's a text and we go to the false branch here. Currently there is no uh, field like this and we are coming to this first node, this one, Telegram one. What is it? 
it is uh, a telegram action it is a note with which i would like to do the following so that the user knows that something is happening that uh there is uh, that it's not, you know, it's uh, it's it not stopped because there gonna, can be a delay between the the moment you send uh, a message and um, some time of open I need some time to produce you an answer. So to indicate to the user that something is happening, when it's about text, I would like to send chat action called typing. If you go here to this node, you can see that that's the Telegram send chat action uh, operation and the action is typing. And instead, when we'll be doing it with a voice flow, there is another thing which is called uh, recording audio. So that when uh, the answer will be generated, I will be showing uh, to the user that there is an audio being recorded. So that's the first thing, which is ex actually exactly the same in the voice flow and in the text flow. Then another thing in the text flow is uh, this node called standardized output. I have the, the very similar node uh, standardized output in the voice flow as well. And the idea here is the following. We have an AI agent node which should receive some data depending uh, from either top line or from uh, the node in the bottom line. I would like uh, to structure AI agent in a way that it doesn't, it receives the same type of data, let's say the data structured in the same way independently, whether it, it, it's coming from here or it's coming from the bottom. And the way for me to do it, I just uh, create, uh, I use this uh, node, which is called set node, and I create uh, the output in the following format. It will have a system prompt field and user prompt field. User prompt field will contain our message. Uh, in the text form and system prompt will be the same here and also for the voice message and it will be just saying that you are helpful assistant replying in written text use markdown format in the answers and then uh, so in this way AI agent is receiving uh, from this node exactly this data system prompt and user prompt then AI agent is sending this uh, this information in the text form uh, to the model. I connected to the CI agent OpenAI chat model. You can see here GPT 4.1 4 nano and it receives an answer and the answer can be seen here. Hello, how can I assist you today? Is there anything you need uh, or any question you have? Feel free to ask. This answer is going then later to the switch node. And if you don't know, the switch node is basically a node which does not modify the data which comes to it. It just routes it either uh, to one way or another way. You can have a switch which routes it to three, four, five uh, different, let's say, different destinations. Here I have just two destinations. One is voice, one is text. Uh, I would like to route this data to this bottom part since uh, it is a text and I would like to respond in text form. How it's done in the switch node, uh, you basically select uh, the conditions for routing and for me uh, for information to be routed uh, to the text uh, to the text route i would like uh, i would like to have message.voice.file id as does not exist which means that so basically it checks so this switch node it checks whether the data which uh, was received here in this first node contain uh, the field called message.voice.fileid and it will be present if it's a it's a voice message if it's not a voice message so if it doesn't exist i would draw all the incoming data without any changes to uh to the road which i named text and it means that it goes uh here down and goes to this second and the next node and the next node is uh, basically just sending the reply uh, to telegram with uh, with the data which we received from OpenAI. And that's the reply, hello, how can I assist you today? The one which you have seen here in the chat, hello, how can I assist you today? So that's how the uh, text part of the workflow is working. And now let's move on to the voice part of the workflow. For it, I would like, uh, first of all, unpin the data here. So I just click like this, unpin. And uh, I would like uh, to do the following. I delete all this data here and I would like to test workflow again uh, it waits for the incoming data and now let's uh, let's let's chat a bit with uh, with this chat assistant so we go here to telegram and let's record uh, record the message hi there i would like you to help me with an attend workflow can you do it so this is an answer absolutely just tell me more about your workflow and what you need help with and i'll do my best to assist and now let's check how it has been uh, how it has been uh, functioning here in the workflow. 
So in the workflow, you can again see uh, the, the nodes which has been executed. They are marked with the green checkbox. Uh, we can see that. Uh, so first of all, let's see what's happening. So in the in the incoming data now, you can see that there is a voice, a voice part of the of the object which is coming. It has duration information, file ID information, file size, and other data. Before, if it was a message, the voice field was not present. So next, what we're doing in the if voice, we are basically routing it, and the route is now true since it has the uh, the voice message. It comes to this uh, voice flow. So first of all, we're sending this uh, chat action called record audio. Then we are actually getting this audio. And in order to get the audio file, we need to ind indicate uh, to Telegram node uh, the operation called get, and we need to provide file ID. And this file ID is coming from get Telegram message node. It's a first node. It, it's, it, and it's contained in the message.voice.fileID field. As a result, as an output, we are getting a file uh it's uh, called file 13 oga so that's what the response from coming from telegram then this file goes to the next node it's the node which converts this file uh, from audio into the text format because we would like to send to llm uh, a text so we need to convert audio to text this is the open ai's node you need just to add node called open ai and choose an operation tra transcribe a recording and the input data is this field data. It's the data uh, file, which is coming from the previous node from, uh, from getting audio node. Then uh, we basically receive an output. This is the transcription. Hi there. I would like, uh, I would like you to help me with an attend workflow. Can you do it? That's exactly what I asked, but in the text form. On the next step, I standardize this output. So I add system prompt and I convert uh, this, uh, this uh, line into the user prompt so uh, basically now this is the json object which i forward to the agent system prompt and then the user prompt and then on the next step we are coming to the agent and agent now receives the information already from the from the top uh, flow from the from the node from this one standardized output agent sends it uh, to open ai model it uses simple memory, by the way, I forget to mention. So simple memory, it's, uh, I indicated that it will save 10 messages uh, in the context and not more. And then after, uh, after it has been done, uh, what's happening, uh, the response, this is the response from, uh, from OpenAI, absolutely, just tell me more about your workflow and so on, the one which we have heard. Switch forwards it, exactly this response to the top part, to the voice, uh, uh, voice part, it comes to the another open AI node, which do now the opposite operation. It converts text into audio. And here we're just choosing generate audio. Uh, we are converting this uh, output text from the switch node. So you can just drag and drop it here and it will appear here in this format. And then uh, it basically, um, it basically generates an audio file. And this audio file we're sending as a voice message in Telegram. And we're receiving, we're receiving it here, as you have seen. I wanted to mention one important thing about sending the voice message. Basically, uh, you need to do the following. If you would like uh, to see the message in this nice form, you can see here the waves, and uh, it's clear that it's uh, it's a voice answer to the voice message, and it's not just some MP3 file. You need to do, uh, you need to be sure to do two things. So first of all, in the create audio. When you're creating an audio, you should indicate uh, to OpenAI that you are expecting an answer in the response format called Opus. There are other options like MP3, AC, and FLAC, uh, but Opus is the one we need. This will indicate that it's a voice answer. So first, it's this one. Make sure it's Opus here. And the second thing, in the voice reply, uh, when you will be sending a voice, voice reply, you should add a field file name. So you should name this file. And this file name should be finished with .opus. It's the extension. It will indicate to Telegram that uh, the answer is coming in the opus format. So this is the uh, format which will have this uh, nice waveform. I will show you uh, that it will be not like this if you, let's say, do not indicate here .opus. We can again test the step. There is another message which came here, but you see it's absolutely different format. AI answer, uh, you can see here that there is no seconds. You could do not know how long it lasts and it doesn't have this nice waveform. It still works. Absolutely. Just tell me more about your workflow. You see, so it still works, but the problem is that it's not displayed in such a nice format. 
In this video, we created the voice assistant which works from Telegram. The resulting workflow can be downloaded either from our school community or from official Telegram channel of Unreasonable AI. All the links are provided in the description. I would appreciate if you like the video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.